Over the weekend was the Iowa State Fair and the Iowa Straw Poll. And a few days before the poll at the fair, Mitt Romney addressed a group of people, and he said this. That's not the way... That, corporations! Cor corporations are people, my friend. We can raise taxes on... Of course they are. Everything corporations earn ultimately goes to people. So, where do you think it goes? What, what? Whose pockets? Whose pockets? People's pockets. Okay, human beings, my friend. And I'm so glad that Mitt said that. And I'm even happier that some of his fellow Republican presidential candidates jumped to his defense and stated their agreement after some of us liberals started to kind of lose our shit over the weekend because Mitt said that. Uh, Sarah Palin, for instance, said publicly, yeah, Mitt Romney is right. Corporations are people. And if you give tax breaks to a corporation, well, where does that money go? It goes in the pockets of a person. Human beings, my friend. I'm so glad you said that, Mitt. So, Republicans think that corporations are people, but for the last 30 years, at least, they have spoken about the government, and they usually mean the federal government, because most of them actually are kind of cool with state governments and want state governments to have even more power than they do. Uh, they've spoken about the federal government as though it were some kind of an alien, as though it, it had landed on this planet 230-odd years ago and, and, and just stuck its tentacles all over our perfect American society and has just been ruining things ever since. The question I have is this. If, if you're going to say that corporations are people, with the logic being that corporations are created by people and manned and operated by people and that it is ultimately people who benefit or suffer from the actions of that corporation then by that same reasoning is not the government a person too are not governments people after all the federal government was created by people it is staffed and maintained and operated by people and its actions have direct effects, positive and negative, on the lives of people. Without people, there is no government. The government is the people. And in fact, didn't one of our finer presidents say something, say words to those effect? And if I recall, a rather well-regarded speech describing it as government of the people, by the people, for the people. Perhaps that was... Uh, an overly poetic description. Perhaps it was uh, a too optimistic view of our form of government. Maybe. But the fact remains, you can't talk about corporations as people and then talk about the government as some sort of foreign invader that is ruining our lives. If our corporations are us, then so is our government. And the sad part is, one of the things that we really need to realize in order to fix our government is that it is not separate from us. It's not the people versus the government. It's nice to say in a, a campaign speech when you're up on the stump on a campaign stop that, oh, we have to stop the government from intruding in our lives and we, we the people, have to resist the government and the government's taking over health care and the government wants to tax you more and like all these things that the government is doing and the truth is we are the government and the government consists of Americans and once we realize that and we realize that the way to fix the things that government does that we don't like is to staff it with better Americans who will better be able to execute the duties and responsibilities of that government, the quicker we'll be able to solve all those problems. By treating the government as some kind of an alien or, or like uh, a beast. Libertarians love to call the government the beast. It's the beast. And we have to strangle the beast. We have to choke it down and starve it so it can't hurt us anymore. The government can do whatever we tell it to because we are the government. Now, when I first got the idea to make this video, that is all I wanted to talk about. That what I perceive to be the contradiction between arguing that corporations are people, but yet government is the foreigner, the alien, the real problem, the enemy. Um, and I posted something to that effect on my Facebook status. I think I said, if corporations are people, so are governments. And my friend Tyler Lopez 
left a comment. Tyler is a fellow veteran of uh, Douglas Scott Hessler's writing class. And uh, his comment said something that I thought was really astute. He, he said that uh, I and Mitt Romney had both forgotten a very important word, a very crucial word. And that word is for. Corporations are for people. Governments are for people. And he, I, he's, I think he's absolutely right. Most Republican politicians, and all of them that are running for president if they want to win their primaries, uh, are on the side of the corporations. They are for corporations. Most Democrats are for the government, at least relatively speaking. And what does that distinction tell you? What, what does it mean to be on one side of that line or another? Where does the money that goes into corporations go? Whose pockets does that money wind up in? Well, some of it does end up in the pockets of the workers, the laborers, the people who are trying to, to make a living, who really need the money. But most of it, almost all of it, winds up in the pockets of people who already have plenty of money. The owners, the managers, the CEOs, the vice presidents, the executives. People who don't really need the money but they get most of it. And the, the huge, huge disparity in wealth in the United States where the, the wealthy people have almost all of the wealth, not just most of it, but almost all of it. And the very poor have almost nothing. Uh, you, you can see that through those statistics. Um, by comparison, let's, let's look at what happens when you give money to the government through paying your taxes. Some of that money goes to the wealthy, some of it goes to pay the members of Congress, almost all of whom are wealthy, and the president and the vice president and so forth, people who don't really need the money. Um, some of it goes to profitable businesses in the form of tax breaks, what is called corporate welfare. Um, so some, of, some, some government money does go to people who don't need it, but a lot of it goes to people who do need it in the form of military pay and health care, in the form of unemployment benefits, in the form of Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security, in the form of research grants to universities and scientists who are doing very important medical and scientific work, um, to, in the form of student loans uh, to help people further their education. When you step over on the government side of the line, and I'm not trying to argue that government is always right and corporations and private enterprises always evil, but I'm saying if you're going to step on one side of this line or the other, you have to, you, you have to know that when you step on the government side of the line, and that doesn't mean you sacrifice your critical thinking and you're never ever going to be critical of the government, but if you're standing on this side of the line, on the government side of the line, you know that you're supporting an entity with all of its problems and all of its pitfalls and all of its things that, that absolutely have to be addressed and have to be fixed that helps millions of people who really need help, who, that provides relief to the poor, that provides health care to people who need it, who couldn't otherwise afford it, that pays our men and women who we force to go overseas to fight for shit that they probably don't need to fight for and take care of their injuries and take care of their health care after they come home. Those are very important things that the government does with your tax dollars. And yes, some of it is wasted, and yes, some of it goes to people who don't need it and shouldn't have it, but not nearly as much as goes to the people who do need it and should have it if we're going to live in a compassionate and caring society. Whereas on the corporation side, some of it goes to the people who do need it, but almost all of it goes to the people who don't need it. And if you're going to be a Republican voter, and you're going to vote for people who proudly stand on this side of the line, and side with the corporations over the government, you need to know that that's the choice you're making. 